How you going up here, son? Well, I know you're a bit busy, so I thought I'd try and help out and get some of this wiring done for you. Well, I know how critical you are. Yeah. Whoa, what have you done here, mate? Well, I thought it made sense. I'd had to put a lot of cables on there. Mate, um, you're gonna, you, it's gonna catch fire. Oh, she'll be all right. <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> Is that just in case that uh, the battery comes out, you got a bungee cord? <laughs> all right, well, I'll leave you to finish it off and uh, off we go. Mate, start again. <laughs> all right, of course we're not gonna leave a battery like this. We're known for doing good stuff with electrical, not like that. Um, we're gonna put one of these on and I'm gonna show you how this comes. You know, you would be surprised though. Some of the electrical that we see um, come through here before the cars come in and we have to add a compressor or something to it. It's like, no, we're just doing this because like that makes sense. It's Anyway, I'm gonna show you what comes in the kit um, and then we'll go and work out how to actually fix it to a car. All right, this is it here. And they're all the little bits sitting on a nice little fridge uh, table here. This new chopping board we're gonna do, by the way. All right, anyway, so this is the actual bracket part of it. Um, and it sits, so as you put it in the engine bay, um, like there's two levels to it. So um, it kind of, can you pick that up? So it works perfectly for a patrol. And we're gonna look at doing these for um, 200 series as well, but it, it sits perfectly on top. Um, all the holes are pre-drilled, rivet nuts put in there, so you can screw all your MIDI fuses on top. Uh, all the hardware's included, that's all that, so you just screw it from underneath. And we've made it so there's enough clearance uh, underneath so it doesn't touch the battery. So when it's sitting on there, there's an air gap there um, because, yeah, you, sometimes you see the top of these DCS-80s um, ripple, which doesn't matter at all, by the way, but... Um, now, if you are using a DCS-80, you do have to get an additional um, uni lugs because they don't have, like, a normal pole, like a, um, a Nissan battery. So you just allow... You might need one of them. Uh, probably two of them, sorry. Um, and... But if it's a standard factory Nissan battery, don't worry about it. Uh, also on the kit, these bits of angle. Once again, because we know how hot these engine bays get and are susceptible to like melting plastic um, we've got that that sits on there um, to make it just basically um, hold the battery in uh, and have an even pressure along it um, our first trials we just had it straight across and um, well, not that we noticed it happening but it might start to put pressure on the battery so that's why that's in the kit too and i guess the the gold out of all of this really, so that's gonna sit something like that, is this bus bar. So a uh, bit of copper put in that way. Um, so it means you don't have to run six wires to the battery, which is good and all, but this is just a better solution. It looks neater. So that is all pre-measured out. So we'll go straight on top. Um, and then uh, this comes in the kit as well. So that's all pre-terminated and that will go around directly to your positive that would sit there and then a rubber grommet over the top. A uh, variety of fuses, so there's a couple of 50s, uh, a couple of 40s and a couple of 30s I believe. So, you know, that'll be uh, compressors, probably the 240s, BCDC, uh, Anderson plug with the other 50 and then, I don't know, Topro spotlights for your 30. So you should be able to get your battery top looking very neat. All right, so that's what comes in the kit, but let's show you like how to assemble. All right, let's get into this. If you're gonna be doing this at home yourself, but you want it to look like a, a four by four DNA setup, this is what you're gonna need. Um, so get these out ready. Wire strippers, wire cutters, crimpers. Um, you'll need a blowtorch or a cigarette lighter for the um, heat shrink. Um, they're all the bits and pieces, obviously. Lugs. Um, these uh, little 10-6s work really well. Um, but if you've got bigger cable, then you might need the bigger ones. If you're crimping the little stuff, probably these crimpers are fine. But if you're getting into some of the bigger cable, you're going to need a hydraulic crimper. Um, obviously, heat shrink, uh, conju, um, and this is really the gold of it all. This is a um, Dymo, like... Um, uh, what are they called? Label machine, but you can feed heat shrink into it. So that's how we get that amazing look with everything labeled. Um, and then it just comes down to neatness. This is a little uh, speech slash lecture that I, I kind of give to the team. Like, 
electrical is about two parts. One is understanding electricity and current drop and all that sort of stuff. But the other side of it is a, it's a craft. And uh, in some cases, you don't necessarily need to know everything about electricity to make this look really good. And on the opposite end, and this is more for someone like myself, I can know how it all works, but I'm hopeless at making it look good. Um, so this is what the guys at DNA do. They treat electrical as a craft, and that's why it comes out looking so damn good. But some of the little tips you can do, um, you know, when you're crimping the cable, um, this one goes to the battery, but the smaller ones, to cheat and make it look good, what you do is don't put the heat shrink on the cable and terminal. Run the conduit on top of the cable and then uh, heat shrink, like a red heat shrink, like, um, like, like this stuff, um, on over the conduit and the terminal and then you can come back with your label machine. And if you don't have like a fancy label machine like ours that can print on, um, Con on um, heat shrink, just get a normal label machine, stick it on, and then put clear heat shrink over the top, and it will give you almost the same look, but that's easier to do, and you don't have to spend 500 bucks on a, one of these fancy label machines. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's just a bit of, bit of technique. Shout out to Lawrence Plumbing, who's getting a bit of a burger with the works. Where's it going on at the moment? But this is the end result. This is what we want it to look like. And I'm gonna stop talking for a minute just so you can appreciate this. Like, oh, so good. You need a uni lug. So um, that just makes life easier, even if you're using the factory battery. Um, instead of having all those wires go this way, like that is good and all, but the bus bar is better. Uh, we've rated this bus bar at 300 amps, so if you wanted to, you could put a 50 amp um, fuse in every single one. But the, the detail, so, oh, just the, so, yeah, MC our, is our electrical, or one of our electrical gurus, um, but he's perfect. Every single piece of conduit was the same length. Um, the You could get, um, a ruler out and measure how much red is at the end of each one it is all symmetrical down to like the millimeter um, the way it all comes up is a bit of a wave from the left hand side of the battery i think this is a, 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 probably the best example of how a battery top should look personally in my opinion um, so that's what we're striving for people So if you want your car to look like that, the battery top, um, and you're not near a DNA and you want to have a go yourself, uh, you can get these obviously from Dash Off Road, our website. Um, and we're gonna keep coming up ways. It's funny, if we go back two years ago, the way we are doing battery tops, and then we used those down under brackets, then a year ago and we improved it, and then now we've improved it again. It makes me wonder, what are we gonna be doing in another year's time? Because we're gonna keep improving things for these Y62s, and then try and uh, adapt that to other makes and models too. So, all right, this video's out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on YouTube. Yeah, yeah.